Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Street View into the Icon 8 to make it become the 360 degree panorama background in your Icon 8 3D animations. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions to get the Street View download. 360 degree, this is the software. You can just click into this link and then this is the installer to download. Once you install it, it will be inside your computer. Just open it. The name is Street View Download. Street View Download 360 degree. So now I will open this. And the next step, connect to the internet. Just go to the Google Map. You can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already put the link at there, www.google.com slash map. Click into this. Control C to copy. It's okay. Open any of the browser. And then, now this is the Google map. Right, from the Google map, you can just choose any of the street view. Just for example, now, Let's say if I want to search, it's okay. For example, the Alpha Tower. All right. Now this is the Alpha Tower. Maybe I want to just stand at the side here. This is one of the street. If you click into that, then you can see this is the Google Street View. All right. You can press Escape. If you don't want, maybe it's on the bridge. I click and click the Street View. Now this is the Google Street View. And if I want to grab this as the 360 degree panorama into my icons, then I have to copy this link description. Uh, sorry, this is the URL link of the Street View. Just click and use Control C to copy. Next, you back to back to the Street View. Download 360 degree. Paste it here. Control V. And then choose a path to download. As demo, I'm going to download on my desktop and I will name this as Alpha Tower Street View. Right. It is going to save as a PNG. Uh, sorry, this is a JPG. If you want to save it as PNG, it is okay as well. I'm going to save it as JPG because the file size is smaller. I could save. Then click download the panorama. Once it is starting to download, then no, you have to wait for a few seconds until it finish. And later I expect it is going to appear on my desktop because the path I choose on my desktop here. So it just left a few seconds and just a while. Now, converting image file, done. Now you can see this is this is just a picture, and this picture is the equirectangular UV map. It is going to wrap it on, on a UV sphere in the 3D world. So now, open your icons. We are going to bring it to become the icon sky. And then, to make it become a panorama, you can just click here to drop a sky first. Where is the sky? The sky is at here. So I'm going to just apply a random, random sky first. And this is the, the icon sky. And next, click the scene. Make sure you click the sky to choose it. And then click the material. You can see this is the material. This is the UV map. And this is the texture that apply as, as a sky. So you can just change this. So you can just drag your, your Street View, JPG or PNG, drag and replace this. Now, just wait for a while, now it is loading, I already dropped it here. Now you can see the sky already turned to become the Panorama Street View, All right? It is really awesome. Now, it already become the sky. And you also can just click Window, Workplace, all panels 
and close this, close the curve editor, close this as well. We are going to click the visual, click here to change the IBL image. This is called image-based lighting. You can just drag and drag and drop at the image-based lighting as well. Yeah, drag and drop into here to replace the lighting. Right now, it replaced already. Then sign with the the sky. Wait. It's okay already. So if you have any of the object here, now I, I'm going to drop it to the to the scene. Back to here. We are going to test test any of the prop. For example, any of the 3D block. This one. Or this. So now if you have something like this, next you back to the visual. This is the the IBL and of course you can just change the, the rotation of the IBL then it is going to going to change the lighting as well so for example just back to back to the scenes you can just off all the light first there's the light light is at here now I just off the light not this the light is at here this is the key light of it, of it, of it, of it. Now we only have the image based lighting back to the visual here. The image based lighting. We can increase the strength. And then now actually the lighting is from this image from the sky. Right. If you change the orientations, it is going to change the lighting as well. You can rotate it just for example. If you rotate, you can see it is going to change the, the lighting as well. Let's say if this one you put 90 degree, you can see if you put 270, it is going to, to change the lighting and the color of the light is according to the sky. Right. The orientation here, then you may just want to want to sign with the sky then if like this it's totally wrong you have to undo it to make sure make sure the bright side is always at, at the bright sky all right that's all for today about how to bring the google street view to icon 8 to make it become a 360 degree panor panorama background and also by using this google street view we are going to generate the Match based lighting to give give the lighting effect the same color as the sky that given to all the objects. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.